Hello, I'm the Dynamic Dipper from Morecambe Bay and we are in Morecambe Bay today, we're just, um, we're just in my kitchen. So first of all, if you like the videos that I uh, produce and you like the topics that I cover on open water swimming and wild swimming, then please click the link and subscribe below. You know, I've got to be more interesting than Witch Washer 2007, who's a bloke on YouTube who uh, teaches you how to fix your washing machine. And I get the fact that he's useful, but you know, he's got 55,000 subscribers and his uh, video of remove and clean the pump coin filter um, has got 315,000 views. So, you know, hats off to him, brilliant, fantastic. But please, I need some more subscribers. I've got to be more interesting than him. The topic of the video today is about what tech you might think you need when you're starting off in open water swimming. And um, I thought we'd just cover a couple of things. So I see on the forums uh, and on Facebook groups about what watch do I need in terms of uh, measuring dis distance. Recently there's been quite a, a bit about not recording properly, not recording swimming, sw the swims and, and the length of swims or the distance. And so I just thought I'd give you my experience about my swim watch, although I don't, I don't wear my swim watch a lot. Um, I've just been um, to Jersey and done a six hour qualifier. I didn't wear my watch on purpose. I didn't want to know what time it was and I didn't want to know what distance I'd done. Um, I just wanted to, to get in and get through it. But I have got a swim watch and I do wear one in the pool sometimes in terms of um, my speed sets are um, adequate or getting faster or whatever. And so this is, this is my suggestion if you're starting off and you're wanting to get a watch that measures those, those things, okay. This is a Garmin 910 XT, okay. It's about 10 years old. I think it was produced in 2010, 2011. So it's 10 or 11 years old, this watch. But it still does the job, is what's important. So um, it's always been accurate. I find it very easy to use in terms of the modes and, and setting stuff up for your training. Um, it, it comes with a charger like this that clips that clips onto the back of your your watch. And the, it's a bit bomb proof this watch. Um, and, and, and the battery life is like a Nokia 3310. It goes on forever. It's a brilliant, brilliant watch. And so they're relatively cheap on eBay second hand. And, and I would have a look and just see about buying one of those because it's going to do all the things that you want it to do. It's an all round good swim watch for outdoor swimming and for pool swimming, um, but it's relatively cheap because it's 10 or 11 years old. But like I say, it's still doing the job. You can connect it to Garmin mobile app through an ant stick, which is for your Bluetooth. They cost about six or seven pounds off the internet. They're not expensive. And I've just stuck with this because it works. It works, I can transfer it to my phone app quite quickly and easily. It's just a good all-rounder. You know, it's interesting to say that Garmin make things for, you know, sailing, lots of water sports, you know, lots of swimming. And, and, and actually I find it, it's the brand that, that works the best. The other thing is, is that sometimes people say about how can I know what temperature it is the water in terms of um, whether it's colder or warmer than the last time they went in and they would want a watch that does that um, like I say I don't have that but the other thing that you can do is is, is that you can just get a mercury little uh, fisherman's temperature gauge that you just drop it in, into the water before you go in I, I have one that's got a clip like a carabiner clip on and I can clip it onto my um, strap of my costume and it just records what the water temperature is. I only bought that when I was training for a winter event um, for me to make sure that I was staying in long enough below five degrees. But if you're interested to know what the temperature is whenever you swim, those little things are about six or seven pounds. I'll show you a picture of it on the video. Um, and, and, and just clip it to your costume or just dangle it in the water um, for a while before you go in. And, and that will do the job. You don't really need a watch that tells you your temperature. So, um, the other thing that I wanted to mention was, woo, competition time. We've got a competition on um, for a Dynamic Dipper hat. So um, I'll just put a photo in there. Um, you, can ha you can win a Dynamic Dipper hat if you subscribe. 
and, and the name will be picked out of a hat and you can choose your own pom-pom colour because I make the pom-poms and put them on and you can choose your own pom-pom pom -pom colour. So really good hat, Dynamic Dipper hat, it's um, thin chillet uh, lined and it's really thick and cosy and like I say, a bobble hat with your own coloured choice. What isn't to love? So if you subscribe uh, on the link below, you'll be entered into a draw for to win, to win a Dynamic Dipper hat. Um, and uh, that's about it. That's all I've got to speak to you about today, really. So check out the watch, Garmin 910 XT. Okay? And, and that's all you need to start swimming in, knowing about your distance and your temp. Okay, bye.